And there's the wail of the banshee. The nightly siege of London has begun. Mass bombing led to destruction of over one million buildings in London during World War II, unravelling stories of pain, misery and bravery ensued. Debris and rubble were cleared from the streets, but excess dirt and grime increased wear of shoes and clothing, reducing the lifespan of one's wardrobe, a frustrating occurrence during such time of material shortage. Frequency of air raids throughout cold after hours meant preparation of layers a must. However, with the drone of the siren signalling for a composed dash into the nearest shelter, this narrowed time to stall action and assemble layers. Recognising this nuisance, and at arrival of the Blitz in 1940, the siren suit made a welcome entrance, providing a practical yet stylish option for cold and weary civilians. Siren suits, designed for the female frame, yet promoted by Winston Churchill, were available to sew or purchase suiting a range of incomes in an assortment of colours commonly made of cotton twill or wool. Construction as exhibited by this navy blue wool lined suit reflected the fashionable silhouette of the day with a cinched belted high waist, wide sweeping legs to stave the chilly draughts, a flap at rear for that cool of nature and a cosy hood with feminine puff sleeves. The diary entry here by Miss P. Warner from September 1940 is a testament to the practicalities of this garment, writing My bedroom has never looked so invitingly comfortable as on evenings when I hastily dive into a siren suit and retreat to the basement. Evident of a warm and reasonable substitution for a comfy bedroom, Although the convenience, nifty style and morale-boosting alliance this outfit had with debonair Churchill acting to sway favour, it flattered a limited range of figures, and when teamed with the gas mask and hood, proved to install panic in many a stray young'un. But despite the ensemble failing to be adopted by masses, there is no denying the siren suit played a slight role in the crucial raising of spirits through such a time of austerity by sheer novelty alone. <laughs>